Good morning, everybody. This is just a quick video um, to unbox the Mako Precision Bit Set for my Fix It. Um, I've tried to get it all in shot because I've got a very dirty desk. Don't want to see it all. Too much stuff going on. Um, so I bought this because uh, last couple of weeks with it being locked down and all that i've noticed uh, my playstation uh it's very very noisy very noisy it probably needs a clean out and uh, the replacing of its thermal paste because i've not done anything like that since i got it ooh, probably a couple of months after launch so here is the mako kit for my fix it just a quick little unboxing nothing major as you can see, it's, it all has to be done one-handed, I'm pretty swish. I do like this, it's, I mean, I, I'm a little bit of a sucker for decent packaging, or interesting packaging. And that, that just looks awesome. Lovely recessed, and it's, it's just like a, a matte and gloss finish. Check it, I mean, it just literally is just bit of cardboard but that is just a really nice touch really nice attention to detail there you know so anyway put that to one side so what do you get in the Mako kit uh, I fix it on the front nothing on the back apart from one two three four I'm presuming they're magnets because according to the website these is this case is magnetized it is so there you go you've got four magnets again so, do they, by any chance, oh, see, this is what happens when you don't have a tripod, try to do everything one-handed. Yes, it magnetises onto the bottom. So, nice touch, not 100% sure how useful it is, because that bottom is ever so slightly, if I hold it that way, ever so slightly curved. But, uh, little squares indented here, I suppose you could put your, the bits, so the, the actual screws that you're taking out, in individual parts, to keep them all separated, that's a nice touch. Right, so let's have a look, what have we got in the box? In the box! Let's put it that way so we can get it all in in one go. So, starting off from top to bottom, we have... There we go. Uh, screwdriver extender. Oh, oh no, no, it's not. I thought. It, oh no, it is. Yes, it is. It's a screwdriver extender because that's the that's the side you put the bits in. Um, nice touch. To get to those hard to reach places, it's it's slightly flexible, which is good. Uh, oh, all way around. So we put that back in. And then the, obviously the actual drive handle. I don't know if you can see that on here. It's, it's all, you know, knurled aluminum. Aluminum? What am I doing? Aluminium. Knurled aluminium. Why did I go all American? I don't know. Um, it's a nice, it's nice. It's got a nice uh, texture to it. You know, the grip's good. I wonder. Two little flat pieces so you get a really good grab on it. And then I'm going to have to actually consult the back of the overall packaging to tell you exactly what's in there. So you get pentalobe in three sizes, you get JS in four sizes, you get hex screws, uh, hex bits in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 different sizes you then get tripoint in four sizes nut driver in six sizes you get one you get two square driver and two square bits a game bit in two sizes you get a spanner really i mean yeah in two sizes there's the spanners 
but that's like tiny spanners. You get a triangle in two places. You get a standoff bit for your iPhone, an oval drive, a magnetic pickup pick bit, and a SIM ejector bit. As well as you get a oh that's nice to see a quarter inch to four mil driver adapter which must be that one I presume yeah so just there you get a quarter mil inch to five hundred and fifty mil flex extension that's what that's called magnetic drive handle and lid ah so they do intend you to use that as a sorting tray so lid with sorting tray anyway that's my quick video just showing my iFixit kit that came through the post today. Signing off. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, subscribe. Put a like in the like thing. Leave a comment underneath. And uh, yeah, I will see you in another video shortly.